one. Hello, you guys, and welcome to the Woman's Cave. Guess what? We have more than one woman as a guest today. I'm excited. Although, I'm trying to figure out how they fit in with my ego, because I have a big ego. Anyway, moving on, my favorite two statements. Uh, Jade is not here today. Go figure. No, no Jade. So that means no control. But she also took the flask. Do you see a flask? There's no flask. Every time she takes the flask. And no one around here is trying to give me a flask. And I think it's because they're against morning drinking. But I mean, when you're up at 6 a.m. by 5, by, you know, 11 a.m., that's a full day's work. You need a flask. <laughs> that's for a sip. Come on, people. Interviews get interesting after a flask. Anyway, we have books. I should talk about sensible things. Like, we have books. We wrote them with 15 other wonderful, beautiful, amazing change your life ladies. We have, and I thought divorce was bad. And I'm not saying the whole title, so the, the author out there who likes to hear the whole title, booyah, on you. And I thought being grown up was easy. We all thought it was, and then we figured out it wasn't. And I thought I could juggle it all. And I thought I did my journey alone, a compilation. And I thought I had it all figured out. Hey, cameraman, do not do a close-up. I got bags that could carry bags be allowed on a plane because I'd have to pay $100 per eye, but that's not important. <laughs> Hollywood, I really would love this to be a TV show. So don't change a word. Just make the actor say the words and, and um, have me approve the sets. And this is how we know it's a joke because Hollywood would never do that. We need to give that much power to our writer. <laughs> and I thought he was the one. Yeah, and then we figured out he wasn't. And then we have our new series, The Misfits Guide, the sassy sway that leads to cro crooked foot prints. Try saying that three times fast. And then you guys, I have an announcement. Yeah, it's not really that big of an announcement. Anyway, we have another Misfit Guides coming out uh, this afternoon. It'll be The Misfit Guides, the cocktails, soirees, and the LVD. It's our take on a cocktail book that'll change your life. And I don't mean the alcohol. I actually mean the writing. <laughs> we have And I Thought the Workbook. And of course, we have one of Jade's favorite things, the magazine, the 25 hottest indie authors, artists, and advocates. And guess who's on the front cover? Dr. Nora Charney. He's so smart. And he's hot. I don't know if I can say that. He's married. I should say he's a, he's nice to look at sometimes cover that's what it is yeah there it is oh we also have just right in life so please check out our docu series or since jay's not here our reality show mm -hmm. our reality tv show check that out on channel 18 or on amazon and catch the reruns we're coming up with season two in august we got a long way to go because we got a ton of production meetings where jade is yet again today we're having fun with these meetings oh yay if you're not here to hear about, oh, you can find all that stuff on Amazon.com for the books and andwethought.com for everything else that we're doing, including the book festival that's coming up, all that. Anyway, you can find us there, but do you know who you can't find there? Our wonderful, wonderful guest. Wonderful guest, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Priscilla Johnson, better known as Priscilla in the book world. And I am the ultimate book maniac. How are you today, Mona? I'm fine. She's a book maniac. I love book maniacs. And Patricia, it's Priscilla and Patricia. Ooh, I love it. I love it too. I love it too. And, and you make a wonderful third companion. I'm Patricia Sargent. I write romances and cozy mysteries and sci-fi. Oh, wow. I need to learn from you. <laughs> I think I can learn a lot from you, my friend. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, <laughs> No, everyone says the real money is in romance. And I was like, really? I want some. I'm writing a romance. It didn't work. Why? What the happened? Heroine, the heroine loved herself and was like, screw you two guys. I'm going to go have a love life. Oh, my. And then I tried it again and the same thing happened. And they were like, that's not a romance book. I was like, it feels like romance to me. Too <laughs> funny. <laughs> We should be talking about books and your upcoming events. And here I am chatting about romance. But oh, Patricia, what have you written that we can write, uh, read? Well, um, at the end of June, June 26th, my second cozy mystery, Peril and Prayer, a sister Lou mystery, comes out. Um, 
Mayhem and Mass, the first book in the Cozy Mystery series, is already available. And there, um, to see the complete list, I write as three different people because my mind just works that way. You could uh, visit my website, patriciasargent.com, for the full list. Okay, I will be there. Do you have audio? Because that helps. Oh, yes. Some of my books are available as audio books. Okay, I'll be listening to those. Immediately. Okay. It's like an ASAP thing. <laughs> Hope you join the, the the romance thing on Audible because it's just going to be like, yo, so Patricia, when I see you in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be like, so I read this book, this book, this book, this book. <laughs> Listen to it. Yeah. Priscilla, I'm sorry. Let's get back to you. You are no a book problem. maniac. What does that mean? Basically, I am all over every book event, conference, everything anybody has. Here in Baltimore, if there's a book event or a book signing, you can guarantee that I'm going to be sitting front row center at that event. So I've just been known as the book maniac. Oh, wow. I love this. Do you have your own blog or, or YouTube coverage? Because uh, you can start capitalizing on that. <laughs> I, had, I had a blog not too long ago, but with the online book club and the traveling, I just couldn't keep up with it. But I do want to get back to it eventually, and mostly to promote the book club. So that, that's the big thing, the Sellers Book Maniacs. Um, so you guys have an online book club together. Patricia? Well, Yes, Patricia is a member of the Book Maniac Club. We are about 80 members from all across the country, and our ages range from 25 to 72. Nice. Phil is the president. Phil is the president of the, and the website is phyllisbookmaniacs.com. Okay. Okay, no, because when I got an email, I was like, Scylla? Really? I thought her name was Priscilla. <laughs> It's so much Suspect. easier to say Stella instead of Priscilla, so yes. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And I opened it anyway, and I was like, if it gets a virus, it's on my phone. I need a new one anyway, so it works. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have an event coming up, and I'm assuming you're going to be one of the authors there, Patricia? Yes, and I'm, I'm really excited. One of the many reasons that I'm excited about this upcoming um, Maniac Book Extravaganza is that it covers all genres of not just romance. There's mystery, there's inspirational, paranormal, science fiction. So a wide range of genres will be represented. This sounds wonderful. It is. I'm looking forward to this. And Priscilla, I want to talk to you about the hard work. Oh, hard work, <laughs> yes. <laughs> going it's still ongoing yes it keeps <laughs> so yeah. what's your favorite part so far i know the planning part is not a fun but just putting all everything together has just been fun it's been a labor of love even with the headaches everybody has been giving me but i i just love doing it so it's, oh, it's, it's going to be a really good event. I work really hard. Patricia has helped me do a lot of things. The other team members have helped. It's going to be a lot of fun. And you are going to be there also. I certainly shall. I will be there with my red bow and my gleaming, gleaming earrings. That's Great. We have guys... on... Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, you go ahead. I'm sorry. On June 23rd, we're in a book fair. And that's what you're going to be a part of. And it's open to the public. And the conference is at the Conference Center at the Maritime Museum. And that's at 692 Maritime Boulevard in Lithica, Maryland. It's free to the public. Everybody come out. We're going to have a whole bunch of fun and a lot of offers. So please come out and support them. Okay. I was going to ask you that information, but thank you for putting it out there already. <laughs> so is it more than one day? The conference starts on Thursday, June the 21st, and it runs through Sunday the 24th. So uh, we have a whole lot of stuff packed, uh, traditional Baltimore crab feast, because we have people coming from the West Coast that have never experienced the crab feast before. So that's going to be a lot of fun to see them crack open those blue crabs. So <laughs> I didn't get an invite to that. Uh, <laughs> what you did, I'm sorry. Yes, we're going to have that. We're going to have um, book cover charades. Um, Naughty Bingo. Ah, you gotta come for Naughty Bingo. Uh, <laughs> you see so, my so smile. <laughs> Can I bring up the flask to go with the Naughty Bingo? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we're 
You're it's going so to have much better awesome. when everyone's like, so you got that one wrong. Yes. <laughs> it's your turn to take a shot. You <laughs> a beer pong with books. <laughs> yes. Patricia, what part of this of this weekend are you most looking forward to? Oh, actually the whole thing because we're an online book club, which means that we see each other sometimes at other events, but this one is our event. So we'll see a lot of our members at, at this event, some who I've never met in person before. So I'm really excited about that. And of course, you know, getting my eat on at the Cab Fest, so looking forward to that. And I'm hosting um, uh, one of the sessions, Real R-E-E-L Trivia Pursuit, where I describe a movie or a character and you tell me the movie is or who the actor was, something about the movie. So mm -hmm. I, I think that's Which is an event I always lose. <laughs> because you're a book maniac. <laughs> yes, and, and they threatened to take away threatened to take away my black card because I don't see all of these movies. That was but I'm Erica. Back. That was Erica. <laughs> You guys are so much fun. I'm about to give y'all an invitation. As soon as this is over, I'm inviting y'all places, okay? Oh, cool. <laughs> yes. We'll be there. Yes, we, we're going to have to do this. This is going to be fun. Um, <laughs> what I have in my mind, I think is going to be fun. Of course, you know, it's fun in my mind because it's in my mind. <laughs> once I say it, people are like, mm, no, once again, suspect, is that going to give me a virus? Oh, my God. <laughs> on my phone anyway um so we have these four days and so i know one of the things is interesting i love the real trivia because normally me and our literary assistant and our editor we're just getting together and talking about book festival and how much i hate going <laughs> um, because it's just like you have people who are talking about books and reading books and they're like the smartest people in the like the room and it's other smart people and then if you're like so i'm a party chick and they're like what, what? <laughs> it seems so vain there's no real pursuit in it and you're like for fun yeah <laughs> fun. that's what it is so we were i love this really? idea of this trivia pursuit so tell me other things that are happening that are unique to this event well, besides the Naughty Bingo, we also have um, Acting Out, where the readers and authors get to act out the scenes in the book, which ought to be a lot of fun. Uh, book cover charades, where you get to draw the pictures out. We have Reader Jeopardy, where we have questions from books or stories or card characters. So like I said, I've tried to make it interesting. Um, oh, I forgot the scavenger hunt. I found interesting facts about the authors and the readers. So you got to go around and talk to people. That, that gives you a chance to authors to meet the readers, readers to meet the authors up front and personal to find out these unknown facts about each other. So it's going to be a lot of fun. You need to just take this thing national, man. You just, just, no, because all book festivals need to be reformed in this manner. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you know what? That was one of the reasons of why I did it, because we go to so many conferences and after a while they become the same. And like you said, there's only so many ways you hear so many stories of how you wrote the story how you develop the characters so i wanted to make this fun and interesting for everybody so that's what i'm hoping to achieve i hope everybody has a good time i i think they will i mean i'm i'm having a good time in my own mind and i'm not even there yet so i'm <laughs> i'm coming out yeah let's get to the traditional stuff though the stuff okay that math stuff who's speaking Who's reading? You know what? The romance field is, is huge, but the authors don't get a lot of credit for what they do. A lot of people don't like romance, which I think is bad, especially with the time that we have now. So this is a way for romance authors to get out. A lot of them don't get the publicity that a lot of the Caucasian authors get, which I think is unfortunate. Are you um, joking? But, Caucasian authors don't get publicity. A lot of them don't, but like the mainstream ones are, are really out there. So this is another way for us to get our authors and ex African American authors, and we do have some Caucasian authors that are coming um, out there, so that people know who they are to help promote them. Um, one of the things that we also do in the book club is create street teams. 
for authors. And as street teams, we go out and do the early publicity for them for free because, you know, they, they need help. And we want to spread the word about authors and get their books and information out there to everybody. So that's okay, one so of the I got I got to try to jump on that. I need street team. <laughs> So, and that's what we're there. And Patricia tell you, we'll get books out. We'll do promos for you on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you need. We're out there. If there's an event that the author can't go to, send us your promo information and we'll take it there for you and spread the word. That's one of the good things about the street teams. That is amazing. You guys are doing awesome work. Patricia, you're doing an amazing job continuously writing. I, I'm looking forward to listening to your books this weekend. Do you oh, have anything you want to say in conclusion? I've had so much fun and I have three more questions, but I know my time is up and you're at work. And so the least I could do is try to wrap it up correctly at the right time. Do you have any more things you guys want to say? Last words? And of course, where to find you, where to get these tickets? Yes. Well, again, you can go to our website, www.cillas.com bookmaniacs with the S on the end dot com. All of the information is there. The event again is at the conference center at the Maritime Museum and that's in Lithica, Maryland 692 Maritime Boulevard and the event starts the free book event starts on Saturday June the 23rd from 12 to 4. So please come out the authors that will be there are Bridget Midway, AC Author who's a local author who everybody loves the Donovan series and the Paranormals um uh, who else we have? Nalina Kai, Patricia, Victoria Kennedy. There are so many authors, I can't get their names straight. Uh, yeah, Rich Goodway, Renee Fredrick Daniel, Nikki Taylor, Leticia Lovely, Keith Thomas Walker. Oh, so it's going to be a lot of walkers. And Patricia Sargent, so please come out and support us. This sounds wonderful. Patricia, anything else? Well, I would recommend that you start with Fast Break, my personal phase, one of my personal phase. It's on tape. Okay. I'm looking really really forward to seeing everyone, especially you. It'll be nice to meet you in, in person. Same here. I'm, I love reading, ro I love meeting romance writers. They are always so much fun. Oh, uh, maybe at the Baltimore Book Festival. But yeah, I love reading romance uh, my authors. They're so much fun. They're like some of our favorite people that we have that we know. We're like, oh. romance authors are just awesome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You guys, I guess it's about time for me to wrap this up then. I am Wilnona, and there was a missing Jade today. And I have <laughs> saved myself. So any and all comments, please write down Jade Wilnona behaves herself in this video. Only this video. Make sure you say this. <laughs> because I don't want people thinking I behave myself all the time. That's just not right. Yeah, we don't want to spread false rumors. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's hilarious. And so you can find everything that we're doing at andwethought.com. And lastly, I'm going to say that you guys remember that we support charities and we have three charities that we proudly support. So when you go to andwethought.com, go to the ladies tab, tab, go down to the middle of the page and click on those three charities and proudly support them as well. And I'm going to ask you to support one more thing, which is book mania in the next couple of weeks. This is going to be awesome fun. At least try to come see us. Yay. We hate it when you don't, because we get cute for no reason. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to wrap it up by saying that wisdom is always around you if you're open to finding it and accepting it. So peace and love, you guys, from Winona and the missing spirit of Jade. Bye-bye. <laughs>